Today I'm going to tell you about the secret to having long beautiful hair. Hey my darlings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. To everyone who's new here my name is Ruby Dahl. I am a writer, author and content creator. I am also a blogger who talks a lot about you know traveling and food and all of those great things. You can follow me on my social media handles which are going to be on the screen right now for you and today I'm going to answer all your questions about having long beautiful hair and how my journey has been so far. During my videos uh, on Instagram and on YouTube a lot of you have complimented my hair. You've told me that you really like the fact that it's really long so it's short from here but it's really long and you really like the fact that like you you wanted to know what it is what am I doing that's made my hair this long and healthy and so on now that means so much to me because there was a time when I was really suffering through horrible hair loss because of my mental and emotional health I was going through so much stress and I was just losing so much hair every single day like I would literally put my hand in my hair and I'd lose like clumps and clumps of hair even now my hair is not at the best that it's been it's definitely very very thin it's gone very fine it's still quite dry at the bottom because of all the issues that I was having with my hair but um, I am in a stable hair care routine now where I can talk about what I'm doing and how I'm getting back to having thick hair and taking care of um, you know the length of it as well as the volume I guess <laughs> so I've grown up as a Sikh so in my religion we're not allowed to cut our hair so growing up I didn't really touch my hair, I didn't cut it, I didn't trim it, none of those things because I wasn't allowed to. But when I reached the age of 16 I realised that I had really dry ends, okay? My hair looked thick but it was so badly damaged at the bottom. So I asked my dad and I was like, look, I'm just going to get a little bit of a trim because my hair is really unhealthy at the moment so I, I just want to do it for the health of my hair. And he said, okay, so I went and I got a trim. And I've always had long hair, okay? So it's never been a matter of styling my hair for me. Cutting my hair has never been a matter of like, you know, I want to get split hair, uh, I want to get layers and I want to, you know, get a bob or whatever because that's just not allowed in my culture. So it's always been a matter of I need to trim my hair to make sure that it's healthy so that it looks good so that uh, it's volumized and you know it just maintains good health. Growing up the thing that really contributed to me having thick hair was I always used to leave it in a plait and I always used to have oil in it so we use gala tel which is like roughly translated black oil but that doesn't really make sense but um, it's a very specific oil um, which Indians, Asians, brown people use. You get it from any Indian supermarket. Uh, you can get a variety of oil. You can get sorsor datil. You can get so many. There's barmala oil. There's coconut oil. There's a variety of oils that you can get from South Asian supermarkets in particular that are really, really good for your hair. And that's what I used to use growing up. When I became a teenager, it became really difficult for me because I was like, I don't want oil in my hair all the time. I go to school, I go to a sixth form and people are looking at me and thinking, why is her hair a plait? Why is it oiled? So I stopped using oil and I'd only use it 24 hours before I washed my hair and that's something that I still do till date Okay, so I stopped using oil on my hair and I um, would only use it 24 hours before because I wanted to give it that moisture right before washing my hair and I'd only wash my hair once a week Okay, so I know that a lot of people wash their hair twice a week three times a week. I do not recommend that at all I recommend that you should only wash your hair once a week, once every six days and uh, that's what I used to do, once every five to six days. So I'd wash it every Friday after school um, or every Saturday, so Friday evening I'd oil it, Saturday I'd wash it and that's a routine that I always maintained and then obviously when I started getting dry ends because I never got a trim, um, I decided to trim my hair and you know that continued. So I had really really thick hair for the majority of my life. I think it's only been the last three years or so that my hair has gone so fine, but up until 23, my hair was thick, beautiful, gorgeous, very, very amazing. I don't know what happened in the last couple of years. Maybe it could be to do with my mental health. It could be to do with the fact that I was so stressed about my life. It could be due to a variety of things, but my hair fall was, it was crazy. I would lose clumps and clumps of hair. So right now, this is my hair. Um, it's long, as you can see. It's 
thickish, but it used to be very, very thick. I started stressing out. I thought, what's going on? I changed my shampoos uh, again and again. So you should change your shampoo every three to five months. You should change your shampoo. So I started changing my shampoo. I was like, you know, this isn't working. That's not working. What's going on? I just kept losing hair. And I realized over time that it was mostly to do with the fact that I wasn't eating good food. I wasn't drinking a lot of water and I was not having any nutrients. I was not having any vitamins or minerals or nutrients. Sorry guys, the sun was shining so much I decided to turn the uh, I decided to close the curtains. Sorry about that. So yeah, I was wondering, I was like, you know, what's going on? Why is my hair so thin now? Why am I losing so much of it? I realized it was because I was so stressed. I realized because it was I was it was because I was going through so much in my personal life. I wasn't eating good food, I wasn't having enough water. There were so many things that influenced not only my hair but my skin too. So I decided to change those factors first. I decided to drink more water. I decided to start having my nutrients. I started, I decided to start having all my vitamins. I decided that it was time to do everything good for my body everything good for my hair for my skin for my mental and emotional health i also researched what ingredients could be really harmful for my hair and i found out that there's sodium sulfate which is used in most shampoos which is not great for your hair so i decided to change my shampoo a friend of mine recommended this particular brand to me grow me which um usually they say it's for men but it's unisex it doesn't really matter so I started using it. This is the conditioner and this is the shampoo. And I used this for a while, okay? Romy, Romy. I used this for, I'd say, six months and my hair grow, hair fall stopped, okay? It stopped considerably. I stopped losing hair. I wasn't, there wasn't any new hair growing per se, but you know, like your hair growth is natural anyway, but I wasn't losing any hair anymore, which was a wonderful thing for me. Six months in, I realized that I was getting dandruff. Now that wasn't good, okay? Because I've never really had dandruff in my life. So I stopped using Grow Me and I was like, okay, you know, I'm getting dandruff and this isn't great. I decided to go back to baby oil, baby uh, shampoo and baby shampoo conditioner okay so i started using that but those shampoos and those conditioners have the least amount of chemicals in them because they're used for baby hair i know that it's not particularly suitable to use on adult hair but i felt like i need something that did not put too many chemicals in my hair too many chemicals on my scalp and just was gentle with it and that's why i decided to start using baby shampoo baby oil and johnson's baby conditioner and that worked really well okay so my hair full stopped now you need to understand that every single day we're bound to lose at least 100 strands of hair that's something that's completely natural every single person loses that much hair a day okay if you lose more than that if you're like you know showering and you've got like clumps and clumps of hair coming out then it's a huge issue but if it's a little bit of hair when you're showering when you're doing your hair when you're combing it it's okay it's not a problem but obviously for me it was a lot more than that now after using that my hair fall stopped considerably ate good food you know used those shampoos but i needed something that was consistent i needed something that was stable and consistent for a long period of time so there's certain things that you need to do to make sure that the health of your hair is stable and good and one of those many things is that you need to not put heat to your hair okay so i only straighten my hair once a, a year i'd say so this is probably the second time that i've straightened my hair in the last year i do not put any heat to my hair at all like none whatsoever when i step out of the house i need to make sure that my hair is protected with heat protection spray okay and i'll show you which one i use so this is the heat protection spray that i use and I make sure that I use this right before straightening my hair. As I said, I barely ever straighten my hair. Near impossible uh, that I would straighten my hair. And I always make sure that the ends of my hair are moisturized, okay? And this is the dry oil that I use. This is the Pantene Repair and Protect. Yeah. So this oil is absolutely incredible. Like I can't explain how great it is. I use this on damp hair. So right after I've washed my hair, or I come outside and I spray tons of it. Like I wouldn't even say a little bit. I literally like press it tons of times and I cover my entire ends with it. Because the moment that my hair is dry, I, I let my hair towel dry by the way. I do not dry my hair with the hair dryer. I do not ever okay so when i say do not use heat on your hair i mean do not use heat any kind of heat on your hair i let my hair dry by itself naturally towel dry it and then just let it dry as it's drying i put this dry oil this vitamin e repair and protect oil and i always make sure that before i go outside i have this particular 
heat protection spray in my hair. Another essential thing that I do when I, you know, in order to protect my hair is I always leave my hair plaited, okay? So when I'm at home, my hair is always plaited. When I go outside, my hair is always plaited. I always French plait it when I go to work. Um, most of the time it's plaited. If it's not plaited, it's in a bun, but it's never out, okay? Now, why do I always keep my hair plaited? What is the secret behind keeping your hair plaited? Essentially, when your hair is out, what it does is it, it interacts with texture, it interacts with fabrics, it interacts with the outside environment, which causes breakage, which causes it to split and, you know, be damaged and break apart. When you have it in a plait, when you put it all behind you in a plait, in a very tight plait, what you're doing is you're preventing it from interacting with textures and fabrics and other things. Like, I do not recommend, like the way my hair is right now, I do not recommend that you live your everyday with your hair like this if you want to protect your hair especially at home we've been at home for most of the year and because we're in lockdown and stuff this is the best time ever to protect your hair and keep it plaited so if you're at home i'd highly recommend to plait your hair to keep it plaited and i'd highly recommend that you put dry oil in the ends of your hair so spray it with dry oil and I highly, highly recommend that you use a heat protection spray every time that you want to straighten your hair, curl your hair, or every time you want to go outside when the sun is out, put heat protection on it, put some dry oil on it and step out. Do not step out without your ends being fully moisturized. I've also really struggled with oil over the past couple of years. So as I said, when I used to, when I was growing up, I used to use Gala Thil, which is um, like an Indian oil, I guess. And that was really good for my hair, but it was so thick and greasy that it wasn't suitable it was not something that i could use in my hair every single day without being called names or you know teased or whatever so my relationship with oil has been very weird i resorted to baby oil very young so i resorted to baby oil like when i was 16 17 years old and i'd always wear baby oil in my hair baby oil doesn't damage your hair essentially it's it's supposed to be really good for you because babies use it so I used baby oil for much of my life but I was like okay everybody's jumping on this coconut oil trend you know castor oil trend argan oil trend what is going on out of all of those the only oil that really helped me was argan oil now you can get any kind of argan oil make sure that it's pure uh, and that works really really well for your hair so argan oil is something that i'd highly highly recommend and in terms of castor oil it's very thick uh it's very very thick castor oil so if you're ever going to use castor oil just make sure that you mix it with something in order to use it for me my relationship with oil has been really really weird so i have been recently using uh, argan oil again but the one oil that i always always use right before washing my hair so and since I'm at home most of the time, I don't really have an issue with oiling my hair. I can oil it for a couple of days. It's not a problem. And this is the oil that I use. This is the vitamin E oil. It's a dry oil, which is essential, which is great for me, for my hair, uh, because it just means that my hair doesn't get too greasy, but I'm, I'm moisturizing it as well. From my previous videos, you might have also realized that I'm such a huge fan of vitamin E oil in general. So I showed you uh, in my other video, or maybe I'll show you whenever I upload it. There's a vitamin E Dr. Organic oil that I use as well, this one here. And this I use for my skin. So this I use in my skincare routine. I wouldn't put this in my in my hair oil, um, which is why I wanted something that was a little bit more diluted because the thing with this oil is, is that it's very thick um, and just like castor oil, it's very, very thick and it's not something that you can use too much of. So I needed something that was more diluted, but it was still vitamin E. Vitamin E is great. It's absolutely great for your skin, for your hair, for everything. Like I'd highly recommend it. And then the last thing that I do for my hair is I make sure that I have my vitamins. I have biotin, I had gold collagen. So I have gold collagen tablets, not every day, but as often as I can. I have uh, iron tablets, I have biotin, I have B12, I have multivitamins, I have all of my vitamins, I'd say five out of seven days a week, which is really, really great. So those are the things that have helped me with my hair care routine and, you know, the stuff that I use that has really, really benefited me over the last couple of years. The most important thing that I'd say, which I always say, is that you need to make sure that you put good food into your body, you put good stuff into your body, you keep hydrated, you have your vitamins, you have your, you know, you're stress free because stress contributes so much to hair fall. And you make sure that once you find a routine that fits with your hair, that you stick to it and you continue with it for a, for a long time. But yeah, those are my tips. Don't wash your hair too much. Wash it once a week. Make sure that you do not straighten it too much or curl it too much. If you do, make sure you're using heat protection spray. Make sure the ends of your hair are always moisturized. Put dry oil in them. Have your vitamins. 
have your minerals, have your collagen and drink lots of water and don't stress and hopefully your hair will be back to being plump and volumized very very soon thank you for watching today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you got something beneficial out of it if you have any questions regarding hair just let me know you know send me an email and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video please like comment and subscribe please share and i will see you all next week Bye bye Whatever you're doing in terms of your hair care is, is good. Oh, good.